Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my working from home desk setup. So let's go. This is my new widescreen 34 inch monitor from MSI, and I absolutely love this. I was actually tempted to go and invest in a 43 inch, but I figured it might be too big. And to be honest, I'm really glad I didn't because I think 34 inches widescreen curved is the perfect solution for me. I used to use two monitors. One was 24 inch, one was 27 inch. They were from different brands, different bezel sizes. So when you stuck them together, it just didn't really look right. Um, so I thought it was time for a change, seeing as I had the old 24 inch for absolutely years. Like I think I bought it back in my uni days. The curved widescreen just makes productivity so good and it's been really awesome for video editing. But as for working, using loads and loads of spreadsheets and just having loads of windows open is an absolute godsend having a widescreen monitor so at only 350 pounds i thought this was an absolute bargain as a really good investment this is my work laptop and it's from hp it's pretty meh to be honest it's the specs aren't exactly amazing i think it's only got about eight gigs of ram and it's still using an i5 processor so it's pretty slow sometimes it's okay for like you know looking at spreadsheets and looking at pdfs but doing intensive like analysis, like that kind of stuff. It's pretty sluggish, it's fair to say. But I think they refresh the laptops every few years, so hopefully it uh, won't be too long until I get a new upgrade. This is my new M1 Mac Mini, which I unboxed a couple of weeks ago. So I'm still playing around with it, but it's pretty awesome. I'm doing all my video editing on it, and yeah, it's just, um, it's just been a great little machine. I'm also using the um, Space Gray Apple keyboard, and that's, you know, looks pretty damn sweet. This is my wireless mouse and it's a trackball style mouse. I've been using one of these kind of mice for about nearly 20 years I think. And I used to game like playing first person shooters on, using this mouse. I don't even know why I decided to try a trackball mouse all these years ago, but I'm pretty good with it now and I can't really switch back to a normal mouse. I'm using a wireless charging pad, which I bought off Amazon for I think maybe 15 to 20 quid. And it just declutters all the wires off my desk really and yeah does its job, it's pretty good. As my main phone, I'm using the iPhone 12, not the Pro, just the normal iPhone 12. And gotta say, I really do like the new uh, new design. It's very reminiscent of the iPhone 4, with its kind of squared off edges. And um, yeah, I really like it. I much prefer the squared off edges compared to the sort of older curved style, and it's nowhere near as slippery as before. For my work phone, I'm actually using the iPhone SE. And to be honest, I thought it would be a massive downgrade, seeing as I'm so used to using like the latest iPhone iPhones basically. Um, but it's not sluggish at all and it works really really well and I actually quite like the small form factor. It's still using Touch ID and not Face ID for security, but it still works really well and I still really like um, using my finger to unlock the phone. So it's working really really well. I upgraded to the AirPods Pro quite recently and I pretty much mainly upgraded for the wireless charging capabilities. I think it was like my last Apple device which was still using the lightning connector and finally ditching that and just going full wireless has been pretty awesome. Currently I only use these for when I'm on a video call but when I return to the office I'll probably be using these to listen to music. I really like the AirPods because it allows you to use one earbud at a time. I don't really like putting both ears in because um, I still like to hear what's going on in the background sometimes. These are my Bang Olufsen H4 headphones and I'm not really much of a headphone user but and I only really use these when I'm like video ed editing or really focusing hard on something when I don't want any sort of like distractions. They're really really comfortable but I can't say I use them that often. This is my water bottle or flask and I always have a water bottle next to me because staying hydrated is so good for your health and it kind of keeps you awake and refreshed. I try and drink a few bottles every day but I still don't think I'm really drinking enough. I absolutely love this flask from Lululemon, not only because of its colour but because of its push to open feature. It keeps cold drinks really really cold but it also keeps hot drinks really really hot. As I'm sure you're all aware that I like using my iPad Pro, I like to have Notion up all the time but I keep it on my iPad to free up some screen real estate. Another reason I like having the iPad next to me is because if I need to do like a quick doodle or a quick sketch, I can just grab the Apple Pencil and just doodle really, really quickly. I hardly use my notebook anymore, but I do kind of keep it in arm's reach. This is my calculator, which I think I've been using since I was probably about like 12 or 13. And I've been using it basically ever since school. Um, I don't really like using other types of calculators. I'm basically going to be using this calculator until it dies 
um, and then I'll obviously be forced to buy a new one but until then this is my favourite calculator and that's a wrap hopefully you've enjoyed this short desk tour please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video cheers